Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. I'm the host. Today, I want to talk about this subject here. Are your insecure thoughts ruining your relationships? Is that little voice inside your head causing problems that aren't really there? Now, I don't think there's any one of us that doesn't have some insecurities within us or something that we've had to deal with or overcome within our lives. But if you're repeating something that's continually changing how you view your relationships, how you deal with your relationships, you need to get to the bottom of this. This is something that is causing all of your your relationships to fizzle, to not go as far as they can go, or maybe you have five years with them, but this little nagging thing that keeps bugging you is now bugging your partner because they're fed up of listening to you talking about the same thing that you haven't fixed in your life. Now, this could be something as an insecurity, like for women, a lot of women have issues about their physical appearance. They might be in bed with their partner and freaking out about what they're looking at, what they're seeing, and so it destroys part of their romantic sex life because they've got these insecurities in the bedroom. They've got insecurities about how they look. When you keep talking about things that are flaws or things that you don't like about yourself, you will eventually cause somebody to agree with you if you keep going and keep repeating the same conversations over and over again. I did a, a show on this a long time ago, very similar about if you keep pointing out all your body flaws, they're going to eventually see them. Talk about the good things you like about yourself. And if you're in a relationship and you're finding that the same insecurities, or maybe you were cheated on once a long time ago and now you've got that insecurity that every time they're not with you, they're cheating on you or you're looking in their phone, you're doing all this stuff that's so not good to be, to have within a relationship. If you're constantly talking like this in front of your partner, they're going to eventually get turned off because you don't have the confidence that they, they want in their partner. They want to know that you feel good with them, you feel good within yourself, you're happy to be around because you like who you are. If you're always drawing attention to what you don't like about yourself, you're going to eventually make everybody else understand why you don't like yourself. You're going to be talking about stuff that's so annoying to everybody around you that they're not going to want to be around you. You've got to fix what's going on that's causing you to be insecure. And even if you're not talking about it and you're feeling it, you can bet your, your hundred dollars that your partner is, is feeling this and seeing it as well. It's really hard to hide when you've got such a deep and in, rooted insecurity. So this is something that rears its ugly head in more than one or two relationships. You really have to go get some professional help to, to, to help get it out of you. It's stuck. And there's no shame in going and talking to somebody about something you can't fix yourself. Because you can't expect your partner to fix you. You can't expect to go into a relationship and they're going to make you feel good all the time. you got to feel good about who you are. You can't expect anybody in your life to, to, to come in and fix that part of what's, what's hurting you. Yeah, so it's very important to rebuild these walls that you've broken down. If something has happened where you've, you've got these insecurities, whether it's from childhood, maybe a past relationship, maybe it's just always been there. Maybe you just have never felt attractive or smart enough or athletic enough, whatever it is that's bothering you, work on that get in there and deal with those demons. Go head on in there and fix, you know, it's like when people go bungee jumping, they have a fear of heights and they go bungee jumping. Well, you wouldn't be seeing me bungee jumping, but people will do this to, to combat that fear. And maybe that's kind of what you have to do is go into something that is a little fearful to get past this insecurity that you have. Whatever it is, please fix it soon because you want to be in a healthy and, and great relationship, but if you keep having insecurities and talking about them or even just feeling them, it's going to tear apart all of your relationships. So go and deal with the inner turmoil that's going on inside of you and fix this situation. And then things will be much, much better for you. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Uh, please keep your questions coming. I love it when you write my advice column. It gives me lots to talk about. And, and also then I know what you want to talk about. 
So thanks for listening and please subscribe to my channel here at YouTube. Thanks.